Yeah, yeah, that is pretty unique, right? That is a very unique uh, feature to the DQ, this game in, in particular. We're gonna go here until we gain a level, which is basically like 90% of what DQ has been so far, just grinding levels. <laughs> but honestly, it's weird, like, despite the fact that it's just hugely grindy, I'm just really kind of enjoying how relaxing it is. There's a lot of that old NES charm to it as well, you know? Dude, sword chucks. There we go. There's my there's my use of fighter rings. Cause they're like chain links, right? So fighter rings, you ring link them together between the two swords for sword chucks. Boom. I think you're pretty liable to, like, slice your friends in half along with yourself with chainsaw chunks. Yeah, we found that out earlier, uh, Cyberventure, when I was ch when I was really zoning out with my grind and excellent game over. Lost half my gold. <laughs> All right, well, I think we need about 120 XP for a level up. I'm pretty sure it's at 4K. 4K, 4K no longer a meme. Gotta get that 4K XP, X, uh, uh, AKA 4K resolution. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, get crit. Playing DQ11, nice. Yeah, we just played that earlier this year on the Switch, the Switch version. Very, very good version. played the normal playthrough. I didn't do any of the draconian difficulty thingies, and I thought that was a good play. The armoire of invincibility. Ah, uh, yes. Classic. I'm getting less XP from these guys that I remember. I hurt myself today.
<laughs> and then my hits decreased, yes. Honestly, I prefer the Johnny Cash version way more than the Nine Inch Nails version. It's really good. Hey, there's a level. Thy power increased by eight! Thy speed by five! Maximum points by one. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Magic points by seven, though, and a new spell. Outside. Hey, I like that spell. What a, what a spell name, outside. <laughs> like, it took them a few years before they thought of like, what does going outside mean? I guess you're you're not outsiding, you know, you're exiting. Oh. Yeah, I guess we could call it exit. I mean, maybe, yeah. Or warp or something. It's evac, yeah, that's right. If it wasn't for the fact that I was getting like one gold per, I would have gotten the copper sword too, but that was just a, a long process. See if we can do these battles a little bit easier. <clears throat> I mean, one less turn of these guys would be great, you know? 19 damage is pretty dang good. Yeah. I don't think the raids are worth fighting. What about these dudes? Wolf Lord? 17. Oh, you can silence me. Whatever. The fact that they cast stop spell is good because it's a waste of turn 2062. 
It's good XP, but uh, I don't know. More manageable. Everything's way, way, way more manageable. With that level up, I got a lot of good power. You know what I think is going on with the power? I think, I think the power has a way of multiplying weapon damage, and so the sword will only be like continually more, more like beneficial than the axe due to like a potential multiplication formula for the damage. Because it does seem like my damage went up substantially. Like, I would I would equip the axe and my damage went up like by three, you know? But then I gain a level with a sword and my damage went up by like five, you know? It just, it was like a huge, uh, it, was, it was a similar level upgrade for power, but the damage went up so much more, you know? That's what it feels like. Maybe I should start running away from non golems, though. Unless I get ambushed! I don't think it's worth killing the wyverns. Like, I want gold. And and I have to heal, like, a bunch every time, so... I think it's better to just fight, run from the wyverns. Every time I commit to running from the wyverns, I get ambushed. By a wyvern. <laughs> I think I should not push my... I got herbs in case it goes the bad. goes bad. goes poorly. Absolutely murder that was totally necessary damage. I mean, I do have enough gold to get the full plate. Like, I could just give up on the magic mail. But honestly, it didn't take that long to get that gold, so I think I'm going to push it for the magic armor. So I can just have a reliable progress through the game, you know? I think it's worth the grind. I don't, I, like, having to dump 3k into, like, a, a step, you know, as opposed to just finishing out the grind to 7k. I think more than anything, I just need to find a, a more reliable method of doing what I'm doing here, and every, otherwise it's fine. Burping the Tucson theme? There's probably a few clips of that. I'd imagine, but they'd be really old old clips, so good luck finding them. Not heard of RC Pro AM. If I can just, you know, I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll just run from non-golem fights. Honestly, I think my HP and MP are very, very low, and I think that's what's making everything, like, more of a struggle than it should be, but at the same time, I got a very high aggie and a very high, high uh, 
strength. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's weird. Cute chat started to run. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Ridge Racer, I remember that game. Played the heck out of that with the power glove because it was so bad. cute dragons hopefully napping hopefully napping I do think I'm pretty close to being able to take out the dragons though I think uh, probably if I had the magic mail I would be able to do it twenty one nice Take the high encounter rate. Just give me golems instead, you know? Oops. Well, I guess we're fighting this one. You know, these guys only give a hundred less gold than the, go the gold golems. And they take just about as much effort to kill. XP makes it feel like the wyverns are kind of worth it. Maybe it just seems bad because it's like soaking my resources so fast, you know, that it seems like it's not worth it, but maybe the wyverns are worth it. I just need to find a place where I can find these enemies that's closer to a town. That would really be... That would really make it a lot better. Imagine if this game had an airship. Dude, that would be legit. If this game had an airship, then you could just like pop right over the castle town, heal up, come back to wherever you wanted to go to grind. No problem, easy peasy mushroom squeezy. FF spoiled me? I mean, you could say DQ spoils with no true game over. What's better? No game over or convenience? Why not both? DQ has zoomed though? Not this one, as far as I know. Sure as hell haven't gotten it on my end yet. Not to mention I can't zoom back over here. Can't zoom back over here. I'd have to walk it every time. I don't know of any like area that has this tier of monster that's close to a town. Defeating the wife, Fern. The wife. Hey, take it easy, Wells. I'm not going in with less than 50 HP. Four thousand. You only get one character ever. That's it. This is it. You start with your main character and you get your main character. 
That is all. Welcome to Dragon Quest 1. It was definitely rhetorical, yeah. That's right, you better run. I'll murder you and all your ghostly families. Well, I mean, FF1 did that on the first one. <laughs> Heck, you could have up to nine enemies, and you just start with your four party members. I think that's probably why I had Final Fantasy 1 had so many, like, insta-death mechanics and stuff, like AoE, rub, and all that good stuff, because, like, they're probably thinking, gosh, man, Dragon Quest only had one party member, then we're gonna give them four? Well, like, we should punish them for having such an easy time of it. <laughs> Not realizing that you can still balance things around having four party members, but you know, old old design. One was actually my first RPG, and I didn't play this until later. Owie. Hmm. Maybe just going to the Magic Armor town would be better. I mean, these, those guys were only given, like, 30 gold, though. I really don't think that's better. I think I need to fight these things for the 100. Three times as much gold. It's a big difference. Plus, you know, especially if I get a golem. I do think those golems had a lower spawn rate than I, than I, exp than I hoped for. Notice you, Nexus. There we go. Don't ambush me. That makes it harder to kill you, idiot. I know when I played DQ like two or three or four or whatever what it was, it was because I borrowed it from a friend. I know that much. But uh I know I had this one, I know I played it. I know I beat it. Can't silence my my cowardice. Take that. <laughs> Do you have to be sub? No, it just has a long cooldown. To prevent spam.
The only thing sub non subs can't do is post links without permission because uh, link bots are a thing and security is a thing, so that's to protect you. for the fiesta to start? I know, it's just right around the corner, man. Only ten months to go. We finished Mystic Quest. No, 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 no. Every year we do this thing called the Final Fantasy Fiesta Kegelis. It's a race between the myself and Seven Sins through the entire Final Fantasy franchise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15, and WAF with a number of challenges and difficulties uh, throughout the entire franchise with the main rule of no running away from any encounter. So we have to fight or die. So imagine all the struggles that I've had with these encounters going through and I've run away from so much stuff. I would just die. <laughs> and believe me, it happens a lot. Uh, it's a t it's awesome, awesome time. And uh, we just we just wrapped it up. We just finished it uh, last week. <clears throat> Who won? Seven hasn't finished yet. He is on the very tail end of Final Fantasy Tactics. And uh, then he has Mystic Quest to do. And the timers are looking like they'll be pretty close. But it depends on how you measure it. Some people like to measure it as uh, the main Fiesta only, which is 1 through 15, and WAF. Others like to measure it as a whole whole thing. Um, doesn't really matter. If you go back to all the previous Fiestas that we've done, we kind of bounce back and forth between who won at the end of the main part and who won at the end of the bonus stuff. So, like, it's, it's always pretty close, and it's always like one gets one and the other gets the other, so it, it doesn't really matter how you measure it. Generally speaking, we're both very, very close. Heck, if you exclude, uh, if you exclude, whoops, Yazmat, like, we were neck and neck the entire time up till Yazmat freaking rocked my world. Oh, no! All right, we're going back. <laughs> oh man, almost lost half my gold. That would have sucked. I only need 2,000 more, I think. I think it's 7,000 for the magic mail or whatever. Something like that. actually been a while since I saved it, so uh, I think I was like at a thousand gold last time I saved it. <laughs> yeah, in, in order to kill the wyverns, you gotta attack the back right leg for three hours. Exactly. Bup, bup, 